Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have created a post component for writing the test cases for a component, right? So now this is the post component what we have created. So let's try to see, analyze this post component and try to write the test cases for this one. Now if you try to see this post component here, so this is the post component and it has a dependency of the post service. So this post component is dependent on the post service. So we'll see about this post service also afterwards. Now here we are having, so now this post component has a variable post array. Post which is of type post array. So it takes the list of all the posts, array of posts. And this ng on init, when this component is initialized, this ng on init will be fired. And here if you try to see, it is trying to get the post. So on component initialization, it is trying to get the post. So after getting the post, so from where it is getting the post, it is getting the post from the post service get post method. After that one, so we have another method that is nothing but delete method. So it will take the particular post and it will and it will filter the post and it will delete the post and it will send the delete request to the post service. So this is overall the post component. So it's a simple post component. So it has two methods, something like get post and the delete post. And let's go to this. Let's explore this post service also. If I open this post service. So this post service, this is the post service and this post service is also dependent on the HTTP client library. And here we also it is having two simple methods that is get post which get the post from the HTTP get request and also the delete post which do the HTTP delete request. So this is a simple thing. Now here the post component, this is also a simple thing. So it is dependent on the post service. So afterwards we will try to write more methods. Afterwards we will try to implement more methods. First we will see about this get post and the delete post. Now we know that the types of unit tests available in the Angular are isolated unit tests and shallow, shallow and deep integration tests. We have we already learned about those things, right? First, we'll try to implement the isolated unit test for a component. How we can write the isolated unit test for a component? If you try to see here, let's try to implement for this delete method, which is very simple. So let's try to write the test cases for this delete method. So what does this delete method do? As usual, it will take the particular post method and it will delete the particular post from the post array, from the post array, which is available here, the post array and it will send a request to the post service. So now for deleting a post data, so first we need to have the posts, right? So let's try to initialize the post dummy post in our test case. So let's try to create a test file that is post.component.spec.ts. Okay. So this is the spec file and here I am writing the describe. So for which one I am writing post component and here I will try to write so this is the thing okay so let's initialize the post let so we need to have in order to implement the delete post request so we need to have the post so first let's see implement the dummy post so let sorry let post is equal to post sorry not is equal to of type post okay so now what i need to do so let's import this post so now what I need to do, so this post has to be initialized every time, every time when a test case is running in this one. So that means we need to implement, we need to initialize the data in the before each. So that every time, so whenever a new test is running, so it will reinitialize the all the post data. So here post, so post variable is equal to, it should be an array of posts, right? So now it should be an array of posts means what it should do, what it has to do. So it, it need to have a ID one and another one is a body so something like anything body one or something like that so it is a dummy data right so title of type title one right title here title one so this is the first post method so let's try to implement another thing another post also let's try to have it another post so here i am writing another one with an id of two and body of two and title of two okay and another one also let's try to implement so that we have three post data so here id of three sorry id of three body of three and title of three that's it so we are having a post data which is having three posts so we have we are initializing in the before each now what i need to do so for this one in order to to test this post component as this one is a class we need to create the instance of this post component let's create the instance of this post component so what i can do here let component is equal to post component okay so i have initialized the variable and here what i need to do so component is equal to new 
post component right so this is the post component now here one problem is there what is the problem this post component dot yes we are in, in creating an object for this post component but here it needs the dependency of, it, it depends on the post service so now we need to create the uh, instance for this post service and we need to inject it into the post component so but here the post service again it is dependent on the HTTP client so now we cannot do we, if it is dependent on the post service we cannot create the again the object for the post service and we cannot inject it here why because we are trying to write the isolated unit test. Isolated unit test means this post component only we will be checking. So we should not depend, it should not depend, we should not write the test cases depending on the other post service. So that means we are testing both the post service and also the post component. So now what we can do here to in order to post this one? Yes, correct. So what we need to do? So we need to create a mock post service as what we have did it in the previously mock calculator. So like that in the same scenario, we need to do it here mock logger service how we have created like this only we need to create so here i am creating let mock post service okay so this one is a mock post service and it is an any so let's create mock post service mock post service is equal to jasmine dot create spy object and it consists of and we need to consist of so what are the what are the post service what are the methods it is having the post service so right now it is having get post and a delete post so let's try to implement that one only so now it will consist of get post and another one is the delete post right so these are the two methods that post service is having now we can inject this mock post service into this one that's it so now we have imported we have imported this mock post service into this one so now what we need to write we need to write the we need to create we need to test the we need to test what what we need to do we need to test the delete method okay so now what we what i will try to write is so here so why we as we already discussed in the jasmine uh, testing courses what we what we have did so for every method for every method we need to create a separate test suite for that one so as usual what i will try to do here i will create a test suite for the delete method so whatever the things you want to write here so you can write it so otherwise you can keep it as delete simply and here i can write here describe delete so now you need to write the test case here so for the delete method what i need to write the test case so the test case is nothing but so whenever i pass a whenever i pass a post selected post to this one so what need to what it need to do it need to delete the test case it need to delete that particular post from the post data and it need to call the delete post so that's it so now what i can do here so the test case is it should delete the selected post okay from the from from the post from the post okay so sorry from the post so now what is the test case i am writing here so it should delete it should delete the selected post from the post so now we need to write the test case for this one so whenever we pass a post from the whenever we need whenever we pass a post to the delete post it need to delete that particular post from the post data so you try to implement this one in the next video i, I will implement my own way how we can write the test case for this one let's try you to i will give up a challenge to you so let's try to implement that one so that you will understand or otherwise in the next video i will try to give my solution okay hope you understood about this one so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you